Hi guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today's video, we're going to be doing my favorite video of all month, and that is my book haul. We're gonna take a look at the books that I got for the month of November. I think I got some good ones. I think I say that probably every month that I got some good ones, but I really like a lot of the things I got this month, as well as my birthday a few weeks ago. So I got some happy birthday mail to share with you as well. So I think we're gonna take a look at my book haul first and then afterwards we'll do we'll get into the happy mail so stick around to the end if you want to check out and see what i got for my birthday okay so this is the first book we're going to take a look at this is called um it translates to girls time the moment um season two it's the second in a series of books i was checking them out on book depository and i like this one better than the first one so i picked this one out i might eventually get the first one someday but this was about 15 16 dollars so not a bad price at all for the amount of pages in here and there's a lot of color illustrations in the beginning and it has the colored page on the left side and then the blank page on the right side pretty typical of most of the Korean coloring books I've seen or that I've purchased in the past these look like they might be a little bit more difficult um, than most of the portraits that I usually do. They don't, because they don't have any shading, um, you basically have to do kind of the shading yourself. So I thought it would be a bit of a challenge for me since I usually do a lot of grayscale pages. Um, I thought it would be a good challenge for me to try it out, see how well I could do it, do a portrait without the aid of all the shading. So I didn't do a flip through on this one just because it's so long. It's a lot of pages, um, but I can if you guys want, if enough of you guys want me to do a whole flip through of this one. This is the first one. Um, I think this is not a new book, but I think it's been out for a few years. Maybe I think it says 2020. Yeah, copyright 2020. I think this one came out in 2019. Um, I don't know which one this is, but... Really pretty book, but I got that one for my ever-expanding book collection. And next up is this one. I also got this one from Book Depository. Actually, at the same time, I got the Korean coloring book. And it's Maria Trolle's newest book, Universum. And it's basically a compilation book of all her, I guess, like the best of all her previous books and it does have 22 new images in here, though. I do have a flip through on this one. And I thought this was really nice that it had the labels of what book the images came from, the original book they came from. And it has page numbers, too. So usually her, I think all of her coloring books have this flower registry in the back. And she put numbers page numbers on the pages this time so it would be easy to cross-reference the flowers um so you could if you want to know what flowers these are on page 81 you can go to the back um search 81 um and it's in swedish so you know i can't read swedish but you can use google translate and i'm sure this will probably come out in english at some point usually they come out maybe like a year or so later to Amazon or to all like the English speaking outlets. I think Gib Smith. Yeah, Gib Smith publishes the English versions, just like Hannah Carlson's books. And that's what it seems like. They usually come out about a year later if they get translated to English. So, oh, and then the back has um, some pictures of her other books as well. All right, next up, we're going to take a look at this book. It is called, oh, I think my autofocus thinks this is a face, so it's going crazy. Let me take it off autofocus. So I got this one quite recently, and I did do a flip through on this one. It's called Citizens of Cyborgia, Cyborgia, and I thought it looked pretty interesting and pretty cool it's kind of like uh cyberpunk futuristic portraits um i think this is one of those books that is was made through ai although it, i don't think it says it 
but I follow the woman who does these and she does post a lot of AI generated images. So a lot of books lately have been through the AI programs. And I did talk a little bit about that in my last book haul, so I'm not going to get into it during this book haul, but I thought this one was pretty interesting. Some of them I don't really like. I don't really like this one. It's the line art. It's like really dark. And, but like I like ones like this. Um, th this is like a lot of intricate details, um, which I'm not a big fan of, but I think probably if I do color it, I would probably just do like a color, like one color wash over it or something like that. And it is at that the self-published Amazon paper, so um, definitely put something behind the page or print them out. Like I like that one too. I think that one looks cool. Um, yeah, some so some interesting ones in here. Some I wouldn't probably wouldn't color but like that one looks a little bit scary <laughs> but, and this one's like really dark over here so I don't know how well this one would come out but it's 40 images so it's a lot to choose from I like this one too a lot of different ones to choose from so you know I never color more than one or two pages in a book anyway and next up is this one I got from Rachel Minns. This one I actually received from them for a review, and I did do a flip through on this one. Um, I've never had any Rachel Minns coloring books before. I have seen, you know, I've seen them before, but I just never purchased one. And I did think this was really cute when they sent me the email asking if I would like to review it and color a page in it. I said, sure, because I thought it was cute. This is another one I think is rendered through a, an AI. Yeah, see, it says created with Mid Journey AI and Dolly AI. So I don't really have a problem with these AI rendered coloring books. As long as it's, you know, clearly stated that that's what it is, I think it's okay. Because then you, you can decide whether you're okay with it, you're comfortable with it. But some of the pictures are a little bit funny. Like there was this one. Um, I thought this was really cute, but then when you look, she doesn't have any, like, you can't tell, but, like, like, she doesn't have any feet or something. It looks weird. So, I noticed that a lot with, like, the, a lot of the AI-generated things. I've even, um, I've been kind of experimenting with, with it myself. Some of the elements don't come out perfect. Like, sometimes the eyes are messed up, or you see how, like, the top of the heads are cut off, um things like that. So it's not like a perfect thing yet. I think eventually at some point you probably won't even, we probably won't even be able to tell if it's AI or like a real drawing. So I think that's kind of where um, a lot of people on like the side, like the artist side kind of see it as a problem. It's kind of almost like how those deep fake videos, um, People don't like those either, like those apps where you can put your face on like a celebrity or something. It's kind of like at some point the technology is going to be so good that you won't be able to tell, you know, what's real, the real thing and or what. I think it's all right as long as it's being presented in a way that lets the consumer know up front that, that it is an AI generated image, which this... Um, publisher does. All right, next up, I'm going to show you a couple of Coloring Heaven magazines. This one, I just got this one. This is the Fantasy Creatures special. I did start subscribing to Coloring Heaven magazine a few months ago. This is, I think this is like the fourth magazine I've gotten so far since I subscribed. And I did get the Christmas special at the beginning of the month and I just wasn't really into it. So I ended up selling that one on eBay. It was all Christmas gnomes. Actually, I think the beginning of it, the first half was the gnomes in love from Ava Brown, which I already had that coloring book. I didn't really think that was so Christmassy. And then the second half was more like the traditional kind of Christmas gnomes. So I'm not, I wasn't really 
feeling that one. Actually, I was a little bit disappointed in that one for a Christmas special. But, you know, they all can't be winners when they're trying to appeal to like such a mass audience. I figured I'll, the ones I don't like, I could put up on eBay or I'll give them away. But this one is Fantasy Creatures special. It says 40 wild designs with cute creatures from Selena Fennec and then also Magnificent Monsters from Chet Mitten. Um, admittedly, I'm not really so into this one either, but um, I do think these um, Selena Fennec images are cute. I do think they're a little bit more aimed towards children. I know I've seen these books on Amazon and they are marketed more towards children, but it is still something I would color probably, maybe, but it's not something I would necessarily seek out myself, but this one's cute with the little dragon and mermaids. So it is cute things. This is more along the lines of a Coloring Heaven Jr. type of issue, I think, in my opinion. And then the second half is all the Chet Minton illustrations, um, which I do think he's a great illustrator, but it's not like my kind of Thing that I like to color per se. Oh, this one's cute. I would probably color that one. Mm. So, I'm not really 100% into this one either. But I don't know. I'll try and color something in it. Mm. I don't know. What do you guys think about this one? I did get a good deal on um, the subscription rate when I subscribed. I think it was the first three issues were something around three fifty dollars each. So it's worth it, even when there's not um, an issue that I'm, I particularly care for. It's cheaper than buying them single issues. And this one, I was super excited to find this one. I bought this one from someone on... Facebook Marketplace. This is the Dark Fantasy Special. This is an older issue. This is all Ennis Guerrero's work. This one is super hard to find. I was not even really looking for it. I always kind of look for it when I'm looking through listings like on eBay or Mercari or Facebook Marketplace. Sometimes I just randomly I'll type in Coloring Heaven and just see what pops up and see if any issues are up that, you know, that I had missed in the past. I ended up finding this one just by some random off chance of doing a Coloring Heaven search on Facebook Marketplace. I always find really great things on Facebook Marketplace. I find that's where I found a lot of my vintage Prismacolors that I have in my collection. A large majority of them come from um, Facebook Marketplace. So it's always a really great place to look for things that are hard to find. Usually find some good deals there. Um, I paid $35 for this, which was kind of, I thought was like, oh, it was kind of expensive for one magazine, but it's out of print. It's really hard to find it. And I also, and I figured if you go on Etsy to Ennis Guerrero's Etsy shop, all her images cost $5.50. So this has 40 images all together, I think, in here. So if you were to buy those all separately from her shop, it would be a lot more than $35. And she never has any sort of sales or anything. So I thought it was a really good um, buy for me anyway. So I don't think I would actually color anything in the magazine. I think I might be a little bit afraid that I'm going to mess it up, but... I think when I decide to color an image, I will copy it onto cardstock paper instead of the book, just so I can keep the book um, nice and, you know, like in mint condition. And then I could color it more than once. Or maybe if I ever become really hard, hard up for a couple of dollars, I'll sell it on eBay or something again 
So, but I'm really excited that I got this. I keep saying I'm really excited, but I am really excited that I was able to get this issue of Coming Heaven magazine. I, I have the other one that just came out more recently with all of her stuff too, so. This one, Gothic Fantasy, so now I have, so that's 80. I don't think they're, I don't think they're repeated either. So that's 80 images I have um, of Ennis Guerrero. So I think I'm set. I'm pretty well stocked up on Ennis Guerrero's <laughs> work. Okay, so I just have a few more books left to show you guys before we get into my happy mail. I got these four books. They're not technically coloring books, but they're children's books. I had seen someone do a flip through on one of these goth girl books on YouTube. And um, they have these illustrations inside. They're by, they're all by Chris Riddell. He is a children's author and he's an illustrator. I think he does some work with Neil Gaiman. These are older books, but I checked out Second Sales. That's a website where they sell secondhand books. I do um, buy a lot of my secondhand books from there. They always have this ongoing sale where they have, if you buy any books under $5, they're buy three, get one free. And that one's really cute. So I thought I would pick some up and I just searched his name in the second sale website and I found all the ones that were under $5 and I picked those up. These goth, I was really most interested in the goth girl ones, but they only had two that were under $5 at the time. So I thought um, I would check back again. You know, sometimes the prices do change over there on them. I'll just do a flip through of this one um, really fast. And if you want to see a flip through of the others, let me know. But I think this is the best one out of all four. And... So I thought it would be cool to color some of these images. I might print them out onto cardstock rather than color them directly in this book, but I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And yeah, so these are really cute images um, to color. And there's a lot of them. So I paid around, I think I paid only $11.50 for all four of these little hard covered books. And I thought maybe it would also be cute to cut, you know, cut some pages out and do a little collage with them or something. You know, I'm always thinking about making collages and I never do it. I'm like, oh, I'm going to buy these things and make little collages out of them. But it, I, I never do it. Um, but see, this one has really cute images too. They're all black and white in these goth girl ones. Um, these I'm not really that excited about. I kind of just picked them up because they were under $5 so I could get them for the, the three, four, four sale. These have some color, colored in images, so I don't know how well these would really work for coloring. These are um, Autoline Goes to School. So these are colored in here and there with blue and then this one is Adeline and the yellow cat these are colored in here and there in red but they are cute books if you have little kids um you can check them out and see if you like to pick them up so that about does it for my book haul for november now let's get into happy mail show you guys first. I'll show you what I got from Monet first. Um, she got me quite a few things. I wasn't expecting so many things from, from her. She picked out a lot of things from my wish list. She does have a really great YouTube channel called The Coloring Diva. And we also share, we both share the Facebook group, The Coloring Divas. So let's take a look at this coloring book first. This is the Adventure of Tiny Girl coloring book. This is a really cute book. This is by the publisher or the artist. I don't know if it's an artist or a publisher. Mavis 
Jane. And I think it's a pretty new publisher. I have one other book by them. And it's, I showed it to you probably in my Halloween coloring or it's in my Halloween playlist. Um, something about a, like a witch, like a witch themed one. And I don't know why they don't put the name of the publisher in here. It's not in the, my other book either. That's strange. It just says coloring book, whatever. But I, I just know it's by that publisher, Mavis Jane, because I looked it up on <laughs> Amazon. And then she also got me this book by Victoria Finlay. This is uh, Natural History of the Palette. It's all about um, color history. If you guys watch my color story little episodes that I do, you know I'm very into colors and how they came about and the history of them and what have you. So I was very excited to get this book too. I started reading it already. A lot of this stuff I do kind of know already, but I still like to read about it and find out a little bit more in depth um, history about it. And then this is a marker sketch pad. This is kind of like upholstered, not upholstered, like a tapestry type of cover, hard cover. And I think this is marker paper in here, but I would like to try, you know, I could probably try drawing on it and then coloring it in with marker, that sort of thing. So that's really cool. And then she also sent me some pencils. These are the Color um, six piece, it's five colorless blenders and one colorless burnisher. I had come across these on Amazon some time ago and I put them on my wish list and I was kind of thinking about it, getting them. I thought they were interesting. I thought I would try them out. I wanted to see if they were similar to the Prismacolor blenders because I'm assuming they are, they must be wax and this colorless burnisher. I don't really use a burnisher much. I have a Derwent burnisher too, but I never use it. So I was kind of interested in trying these out and seeing if they were similar in effect to the Prismacolor one. Um, and maybe I would use the, oh, it says, for best results used with color soft colored pencils. These colored pencils are available in 240 colors. Oh, so th these are probably meant to be used with the you know, the 240 set of colors. So I do have the 240 set and I have just recently gotten the 300 set. So now I have like 540 of these pencils. So we'll try them out. Uh, maybe we'll do a video trying them out um, with the color pencils. I did just do a review on the 300 set and I have had a few people asking me to do more coloring with them. So maybe we'll do a video trying those out in the near future. And then this is Derwent's Color Soft Portrait Pencils. And this was another thing I had on, I've had on my wish list for quite some time. And I just never got around to purchasing them myself. Um, everyone knows I love coloring portraits, I guess now. It seems like um, pretty much that's all I color. Um, it's probably all I talk about too, <laughs> coloring portraits. So this, is like a six piece, yeah, six piece set of portrait tone colors. It has brown earth, dark terracotta, ochre, pink, and blush pink, and cream. So um, these are the color soft pencil and it comes with a pencil sharpener too. So I'd like to try these out with you guys too in a video, maybe sometimes too soon as well. So I don't have any of the color soft pencils myself so this is a nice little set for me to try and see if I want to go ahead and purchase the bigger set. So that's everything I got from Miss Monet. Oh I'm making a mess. And then this is from Karen over at Karen Colors. This is a 12 piece gouache set from Arteza. I've been getting into playing around with gouache paints lately 
I do have a 12 piece pastel set of these and this is the portrait tones. They have a couple of different themed sets of these as well as a bigger, like a whole big set of them too. Um, I don't know if these are, you know, separate color sets, you know, on their own or if they're in the bigger sets too. These are really pretty colors, portrait colors. Karen knows I love to color portraits, so I thought that was very thoughtful that she picked these out for me. They have ballerina pink, peach, blush pink, vermilion red, light apricot, titanium white, mauve, latte brown, tan, burnt sienna, bordeaux, and burnt umber. And then next up, I got this coloring book from Norma over at Norma Jean Color With Me. This is Fantasy Dolls Volume 1 coloring book, 25 portraits of big eyed cuties. And she knows I love coloring portraits too. I think I probably use my alcohol markers on, on these and then maybe color on top with some colored pencils. This one's really cute. That's the one on the cover, right? Yeah, so really pretty portraits. I love portraits with big eyes. It's one of my go-to kind of styles I like. Let's do a quick flip of this one. I think there's a part two, like a volume two to this too. I think these are doubles in here. You get two. So that's all of the images in the book. And then finally, I got some really gorgeous gifts from one of my subscribers. And she's also a member of the Coloring Divas Facebook group. So she had asked me if I wanted her extra copy of this book, the Linda Ravenscroft book. So that was what I was expecting her to send me. I was like, wow, that's really nice for, of her to send this to me. But I opened the package and it was this Linda Ravenscroft book, um, this Disney princess book, this is by Hatchet Heroes. And then this beautiful pouch and look what's inside. Aaron Dosh Neo, Neo colors. These are the metallic colors. I didn't even know they came in metallics to tell you the truth. And um, yeah, so I haven't tried them out yet. I don't even know what I should try them out on. Um, you guys have to give me some ideas um, on what I should try these out on. But I couldn't believe it. Um, it was so nice, so sweet of her to send these to me. I know Norma collects these Disney princess books um, by Hatchet Heroes. I know they're French and there's 60 pages in here, so I'm not going to go through all of the pages, but we'll look at some of them. Um, Snow White. I think Snow White's my favorite Disney princess. People always say I look like her, so maybe that's why. Um, but a lot of really cute pages in here. Um, Pocahontas, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. That one's really pretty. Cinderella, The Little Mermaid. I also, I like The Little Mermaid a lot too. Some of the newer, some of the newer movies I don't think I've seen. Like, I don't think I've seen the one with the princess and the frog or um, Rapunzel. I haven't seen those. And then this one is um, really beautiful, gorgeous. It's really thick cardstock. Um, I have gone on Linda Ravenscroft's website before and looked at all of her books trying to decide which one I should I could get um, and then I never go through with it and buy them but really pretty I love fairies too I love like fairies and fantasy type stuff fairy tales my favorite this one I really like a lot I really want to color this one um, this looks like it might be able to take watercolors too if you any of you guys have this one let me know um, if you're if you use any wet media on this, on these pages. They all have little titles of what the page is about. 
this one looks really pretty too. I'd like to try and do some watercolors over here. This one says Lady of Spring, Green Woman. This is a perfect sphere. Cover, great lady. So I'm gonna try and do something in this book too. Maybe we'll do a video on this. I know I think I'm saying I wanna do a video on like everything in this video, but um, I really wanna try and do a video on this one. I think this one might be really good to do some mixed media, watercolors and colored pencil. So I think that's all we have for this video. It was kind of a two for one video this month. We had the book haul in the beginning and the birthday mail at the end. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know down below in the comments. And I wanna say thank you again to the lovely ladies that sent me these beautiful and thoughtful gifts. I'm really not too crazy about birthdays. So just the fact that you guys would think to send me something or even wish me a happy birthday, I really do appreciate it. So as always, have a really great day. Happy coloring, and I'll see you guys next time.